Sir, welcome to the program Astrology in the Light of Science. As you know that the in each and every episode in this program, the topics which are discussed over here, this has a major aspect because I always try to discuss something which is related to the science. Different aspects of astrology which are related to the science. Astrology by itself is a science, it's not a pseudoscience. Because I think that every science why it aims when we have some constraints to discuss the natural phenomena in the light of science we call it it's a pseudoscience it falls under pseudoscience so it depends on a particular person a particular astrologer how he is taking the subject how much perception he or she is having on this subject and as a result, this perception or this conception reflects on his or her prediction. As you know that I tell many times the people that don't confess anything, don't tell anything about you when you meet an astrologer. Let the astrologer speak about you. For that only date of birth, time and place this much input is sufficient. If you, real, if you reveal your problem in front of astrologer, astrologer will get the scope to validate it. So don't give him or her any scope to validate. Rather, you tell him or her, first, you tell me about me. At least, an educated astrologer can speak about your dadas bhava, 12 bhavas, right from your health, the disease which you are supposed to suffer in your lifespan, so from the health, your property aspect, which you will inherit without your own effort, which you are supposed to have, your friend's luck, your relatives, your brothers and sisters, your education up to 10th standard, your education up to higher studies ma masters, your PhD and postdoc, your affair life, your service, whether it will be government or private or in which field you are supposed to select, which field will suit to you, your marriage luck. Your spouse aspect, your lifespan, your legal problems in different aspects and that particular aspects which you are supposed to suffer from the legal problems, your overall fortune, your spiritual aspect, your professional life, your income, your expense or your foreign connections. So at least these 12 bhavas, one educated astrologer first can predict about you before you confess anything. So don't say anything to your astrologer. Let the astrologer speak about all this. Because this is not possible. This 100% perfection is not 
possible. Hundred percent perfection in prediction is not possible if anybody doesn't examine the divisional charts. Whatever I am telling about this in this episode. i generally always put emphasize on divisional charts you can check it from net the significance of divisional chart in astrology because the kp krishnamurti system i think most of you know about this you have you have heard this term this krishnamurti system had been invented from this vedic astrology and from this particular divisional charts what i am talking about and kp generally doesn't depend on remedy kp doesn't recommend any remedy because that is not valid over here in kp system generally kp is required when an astrologer is supposed to tell is supposed to predict some instant prediction if a native wants to know any short term prediction this is generally what we are not getting evidently from the dasha antar dasha pratyantar dasha kp gives us Uh, enormous health for prediction so it doesn't depend on remedy generally i every time till that whenever we are supposed to check the strength of a planet we definitely go for the navangsh d9 why Why after D one lagna chak the navangsha is important in general we can get an answer that to strain the to check the strength of a planet it's quite true but why not D three why not D four why not D six why not D seven. we go straight at to d9 so until and unless an astrologer knows about the mathematical implications of d9 how the d9 chart comes from d1 then the real essence or implications will not be understood you know that in d1 what happens in each and every bhav takes 30 degree and you know that there are like nine planets there are 27 stars or constellations and each and every if we divide that 360 degree by 27 what we will get we will get 30 degree 20 minutes and this 30 degree 20 minutes is occupied by a single star the constellation and each and every star or constellation has four legs or padas now we divide this 30 degree 20 minutes by 4 what you will get 3 degree 20 minutes and now if we think about the d9 according to the suffix d9 d10 d24 d30 what happens mathematically we divide the 30 degree by that suffix so if you divide the 30 degree by 9 what comes out 3 degree 20 minutes 
so here it means that it implies that in nabans one slice the degree which takes the the one slice is occupied by which degree that is 3 degree 20 minutes is equal to the one leg or one pada sapa nakshatra 3 degree 20 minutes only in d9 it coincides there is no other chart where we are getting this coincidence that's why mathematically we can conclude that d9 is important after we check the d1 to check the exact strength of a planet i generally recommend and what i the system what i follow you know that for a particular native i examine some important charts it's not only one or two charts it's not only d1 and d9 i generally check 16 to 20 divisional charts because each and every bhava we have the specialized chart until and unless we examine that special chart for that particular bhava we cannot think in detail if one asks that i want to you check you just uh, so tell me uh, whether i have any uh, connection story connections for government service if it is there then if ask me whether it will be the state government job or central government job or in, in which field i should apply in which sector in the government job i should apply then you cannot tell only only if you check the d1 you must check the d10 because here in an every divisional chart we are mapping the 30 degree from d1 to the 360 degree so we are getting enough area to examine because each and every verb when we are splitting that particular 30 degree by again 360 degree by again 12 sectors we have so many technical areas where we can examine and not only the prediction not only the perfection and prediction we also can recommend the exact and optimum remedy with the exact dose thank you hopefully you are enjoying my program and the likes and the number of viewers when each and every week I follow from that I can conclude that I should continue this program astrology in the light of science to make you people conscious about the real astrology thank you